Duke's in a blink Oh yeah Grab yourself a hot drink Cause you're watching how to train your Gavin Yep, that's me Hey guys, welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin Today I am doing my very huge September TBR. What's so big about it, you ask? Well, I am doing three readathons. Yes, that's right, three readathons. And one of them I am co hosting. The other two I am just really excited to participate in. So it's going to be a fab month. I will run through all of the things that I'm doing in this video. I'm expecting it to be very long because I am combining two TBR games together and I am just going to be talking about a lot of books. There's going to be a lot of rounds of Play Your TBR, right? So if you are new to my channel, if this is your first video, for Play Your TBR Right. I am doing a monthly TBR game, which I've ripped off of every single person on Booktube who's done a TBR game before. But essentially, my TBR game is called Play Your TBR Right. So every month, I pretty much pick between two books, one that I would really love to read and one that I would still like to read, but not as much. There are danger rounds where I will pick a book that I'd love to read and a book that I really don't want to read. But however, how did I do in my August TBR? Because there were... Oh, how many books was on my TBR game? 32? I think about 32 books on my TBR. However, if I didn't complete all of the books that I had picked for Pick Your TBR Right, which I believe was seven in total, there were seven books that I had to pick for Play Your TBR Right last month, and I didn't finish two of them. I did read over 30 books, but I kept replacing things on my TBR, including two of the books that I was supposed to read. So that means that I have to punish myself this month, and boy have I got some punishments planned. <laughs> so how do I play Play Your TBR Right, I hear you ask? Just a little quick rundown of the rules. I will place on two sides two different books and in order to decide between them I put five cards between and I have to turn the cards over and guess higher or lower than the card that's been shown. So a king is the highest card on the deck and the ace is the lowest. If I have two matching cards in a row then I have to shuffle the cards and guess higher or lower than that card from what I pick at the top of this deck. I have also added another thing to this as well. I am counting how many wins and losses I have done for Play or TBR right. So, so far out of the two months I've done this, I have lost eight rounds and won three. <laughs> so when I get to 20 losses, you know, throughout the year, throughout the amount of TBR games it takes to get to 20 overall losses, I will punish myself in one way or another. <laughs> Disclaimer, I do have a lot of fun doing these videos, so don't think I'm, you know, torturing myself. I kind of am, but I'm having fun doing so. That is my kink. So don't feel bad for me, I do this to myself. Before I start as well, there have been a few people who have played Play Your TBR right over the past couple of months, and I absolutely love watching those videos. If you do play this game, do let me know. Show me your video. I would love to watch it and share it. I do have a playlist of all the people who have done it so far. If I've missed you, do let me know in the comments below but I so far have Neeks's video in there which was hilarious of course. I have Cody's book corner as well in there as well as books with Maddie. Ali Reads Too Much has also given it a go as well as Bookstore Nerd 2005 so I will link their channels and the video playlist down below if you want to check those out too. Before I talk about the readathons that I'm doing I do want to quickly talk about the books that I'm definitely reading in September. No TBR game involved in these two I definitely have to read them so I'm going to show you what they are. The first book I'm definitely reading and I was not going to risk putting it on Play Your TBR right because I most likely would have lost the round that I would be doing this for and that is Hollow Pops The Hunt for Morrigan Crawl by Jessica Townsend. This is the upcoming third book in the Nevermore series. It comes out in the middle of October, I think it's October 15th in the UK. I have been anticipating this book for so, so long. Yep, third book in the Nevermore series. This follows Morrigan Crawl who has been whisked away to the land of Nevermore to essentially learn magic. She is a cursed child so she had to go there to save her life. But when she goes to Nevermore she has to prove herself in a bunch of trials which happened in the first book. And and then the second and third book follow kind of different storylines but they do follow on from each other. This one I hear there is this illness that is spreading throughout Oh my god, hang on, I've just realised. I don't think this is a reflection of what's happening right now. Like, that is such a weird coincidence. I've literally just clocked on. But there is an illness that's spreading to the Wunimals, and it's making the Wunimals act uh, different. So there is this strange magic going on in Nevermore, and it's up to Morrigan to find out what. So I am really excited to read this. I managed to get the proof sent to me, and I have been dying to just read it right here, right now. But, I, you know, I have got some things I need to do before. I can open this book and read it. But honestly, I'm so excited, and thank you so much Hachette 
for sending me this proof. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much. This is, oh, I can't wait. And this is sort of my reward because I'm looking at all the books that I could end up potentially reading and I am bricking it. I am shitting myself. So this is my one solace. It's all going to be downhill from these first two books. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> and then the second book that I definitely have to read and the last book before I get into the readathons is Pocken and Stubbs by Sophie Green. I just read this for Believeathon 2 in May. So you're asking, why are we reading it so soon? Well, me and Jade are doing a middle grade monthly live show at the start of October with the author Sophie Green. We are going to be interviewing her, we're going to be doing a bit of a live Q&A, we're going to be talking about the book and it's going to be so exciting. So I really do, I want to make sure that I know this book inside and out by that time. I did read a lot of books for Believeathon 2, so there's already parts of this where my memory is a little bit shoddy. No pressure really, I'm going to reread it, it'll all come back to me, I just need to reread it again just before the live with Sophie Green so that I don't make myself look like a mug. So there's that. Pocken and Stubbs does follow a young girl called Lil and she is a wannabe reporter in the corrupt metropolitan city of Pelican City. It's a little bit like Gotham City in the way it's told and it's very noir-esque. There is a ghost to Ned who comes to Lil and he needs to know how he died and what happened to him and she investigates. And it is such a great book. I gave it four stars originally. I can't wait to reread it and rediscover why I loved it so much. So getting on to the readathons then, the first readathon that I want to participate in is Mamma Mia Thon, and that is being hosted by Julia from Shakespeare and Such and Julia from Julia. I hope I pronounced your name right. And that is running from the 1st to the 12th. I had to get involved because I have a really crazy vlog idea for it and it does involve some green screen. I've bought a couple of wigs. If you've seen my Cheetah Girls vlog, that's what you can expect from the Mamma Mia Thon vlog. So... That I have that to look forward to. I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited. It's the only reason I'm taking part, really. I was already doing two readathons and I just thought, you know what? This was an opportunity knocking, you know? So I can't wait for you guys to see what I have planned for that. So there are four paths to choose from, or you can pick one from each path. And I'm going to pick one from each path. So from the Donna path, I am picking Money, 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 read a book you didn't pay full price for. Well, how about a book I didn't pay for at all, and that is The Girl and the Witch's Garden by Erin Bowman. This one I got in an Alcrate Junior box, which was sent to me because I'm an Alcrate Junior rep. But I'm going to be buddy reading this with Molly from Mind of Molly, and I am really excited about this because I just absolutely love the vibes this gives me. It gives me Mary and the Witch's Flower vibes. So this follows a girl who goes to live with her grandma at this really beautiful manor, but there are rumours about her grandma being a witch. And I don't really know that much else about it. It's been very under hyped. I barely heard anybody talk about it. It was in an Alcrate Junior box, but that's about it. I haven't heard any reviews about it. So I'm really excited to read this with Molly. I think it's going to be so magical. So the next path is the Sophie path, and I am going to be going for the Lay All Your Love on May prompt, and that is to read a book you think you will love. So for that one, I'm going to read Spot the Cock, and this one is like a search and find book. If you know, like, Where's Wally? But it's more like, Where's Willy? And uh, you know what? I've already gone through some of these pages to try and spot the cock. It is actually quite hard. <laughs> I did really want to put something on this TBR that I could get through quickly, so I, yeah, this is the one I'm going for, and I definitely think I'm going to love it. So these are the two books that I want to read for Mamma Mia Thon. There are going to be two more books, but I have a lot of arcs on Neck Alley that I want to try and get to as well. So I'm going to kind of mood read, you know, Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia 2 are two mood movies that I can just like watch anytime and just fall in love and get lost in it and just, yeah. So I feel like I should do some mood reading for Mamma Mia Thon, especially since what I have coming for you is... Oh, it's making me sweat already. It is making me sweat. So I'm gonna have fun with these two. Do check out Julia's and Julia's videos down below as well. I will link their announcement videos. So for the second readathon and the third readathon, I am gonna be playing Play Your TV Alright. So roll the theme tune. You're watching Play Your TV Alright. Yep, that's an original. So the first readathon I will be doing is one I am co-hosting, and that is the A Touch of Whimsy Adventures Through Wonderland readathon. This is a readathon I'm co-hosting with Lexi from Alexandra Rosen and Kaylin from Kaylin Abridged. They created the readathon and asked me and Jade from Middle Grade Monthly if we would help co-host in the month of September. And we, of course, said yes. So if you want to know more information about that, I will leave all of the announcement videos and the details and the downloadables and everything like that in the description box below. We do have a absolutely gorgeous map for it as well. 
that you follow along through Wonderland and get to the end. So before I get into my Play Your Table Are Right roles, I do want to say the group book for that is The Train to Impossible Places by P.G. Bell. This follows Susie who one day a train crashes through her house. Well I wouldn't say exactly crashes but it magically goes through her house and this is a train that can go to impossible places. It can go under the sea, it can go into space, it can do whatever. And Susie ends up going on this train and being in on this really epic adventure. So this is a group book, I will definitely be reading it, so I'm going to put that to one side. However, to punish myself for not completing all of my Play Your TBR right last month, I have got a really horrible, wicked thing that I'm doing to myself. So for the books that I'm picking for each of these rounds for A Touch of Whimsy, <sighs> I am going to be picking a book that I really want to read and will fit the prompt between a book that I do still want to read but it will not fit the prompt. So that feels like a punishment in itself, okay? I know people were complaining that the stakes weren't that high in the last video, however, I really don't want to read the books that will not fit the prompt because what is the point? I'm crazy, okay? I am crazy. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. So the first prompt for the Touch of Whimsy readathon is going down the rabbit hole and reading a book that is set in another world. So for that prompt, I actually want to read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. I believe Through the Looking Glass is also in this as well. And of course, this is set in another world. Alice goes down the rabbit hole and goes into Wonderland. And we all know what this is about. So this is the book that I definitely want to read. So I've got my gold book over on that side. The book that won't fit this prompt, I still want to read it, but it won't fit this prompt. And that is Arsenic Fate by Robin Stevens. This is the second book in the Midmost and Ladylike series. And and this is set in our world. This is set in the 1940s, or maybe the 1930s or the 1940s. And this follows two young girls who create their own detective agency and they solve mysteries. <laughs> Why am I putting this on here? Because this will not fit the prompt. It's not set in another world. This is why I really need to get to this side. This is why the stakes are high, okay? So I'm gonna put that one over here. Like, honestly, I've already lost eight rounds. I cannot lose any more. If I lose 12 more rounds, then I will have to punish myself again. Let's see how the first one turns out, the first round. <laughs> so let's start this first round. I'm so excited. The first card is... Oh, an ace, a one. Okay, that is the lowest and that is fantastic. So I'm gonna go higher. Three, oh my gosh, this could, I, I don't wanna jinx it. I don't wanna jinx it. Three, higher. Oh my God, if this is a two or an ace again, that's fair. Oh my God, it's a four, what? Whoa, <laughs> sorry. What, wait, why am I apologizing to a bunch of books? Well, how has this happened? Okay, could this actually be a real, no, I don't wanna say it, I don't wanna say it. Four, oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna say higher because obviously the odds are more in favour of being higher. But still, like, this is just too good to be true. Some, something's gotta give. Something's gotta give. <gasps> Oof, right, it's a seven. It's a seven. I am allowed one swap per game. And, oh, a seven is right in the middle as well. So, higher or lower than a seven. Oh my god, they've all been higher so far. Why do I feel like this is... Oh God, um, a seven, oh, I really, I, I can't read that for this prompt. So please let me win, please let me win, please let me win, please let me win. Should I push my luck and say higher again? Should I push my luck and say higher again? I feel like something's gotta give, something's gonna go wrong here. Something's gonna go wrong here. Seven, I wanna say higher so bad, but I also wanna say lower so bad. Uh, Yes! Oh my gosh. Okay, I've won. I've won. I've won. Oh my god. That first round was so good. That first round was so good. Okay, thank you so much for your cooperation. Oh, see, this game screwed me over last month, but oh, right, it's still early days, though. That was only the first round. There's going to be like nine more rounds in this game, so... <laughs> so after we go down the rabbit hole, we have to go through the flower garden, and that is to read an aesthetically pleasing book. You're going to love the option I don't want to read for this one. Okay, so the book that I really do want to read for this one is Kiki's Delivery Service by Eiko Kodono. This cover is absolutely gorgeous and it's like one of the most aesthetically pleasing books I've ever seen. The blue, the illustration by Joe Todd Stanton, and it just, it looks incredible. This is the book that inspired the Studio Ghibli movie. This one I think came out in the 1980s, I think just before the movie came out. And uh, this has been translated. It just looks like it's going to be such a great fun adventure. And it does follow Kiki and her 
Cat Gigi, I think it's called, and they go into this town and she kind of starts up her own delivery service. It's been a long time since I watched the movie, but this is the book I definitely want to read. You're gonna love this. The book that I don't want to read, one, because this is not an aesthetically pleasing book, and two, this is not middle grade. And the Wonderland Readathon is middle grade only. So the book that, if I lose, I'm gonna have to read is Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. How? How am I going to read this because it doesn't fit in the prompt? <laughs> that is definitely not an aesthetically pleasing cover. In fact, that's a disgusting cover. I'm taking the cover off. Yeah, so Midnight Sun, it's huge as well. I do not want to read this for a middle grade readathon. I mean, it's not, it can't happen. It can't happen. Midnight Sun is Twilight retold in Edward's perspective. I mean, I'm sure it'll be a fun ride. Maybe. And I don't want to read it at some point. I don't buy books that I don't want to read unless I lose a round of play at ABR, right? Let's see if it even fits on here. Oh, it does. Excellent. I really want to read Kiki's Delivery Service. Have you seen that cover? Like, that is like the whole whimsical Wonderland readathon embodiment right there. That is what I want to read it for. Right. Cards are shuffled. Oh my god, I'm actually shaking. <laughs> the first card. Please be a good one is a jack. Oh, it's really high. It's really high. That's good. It's more likely to be lower. It is more likely to be lower. Lower. Oh, my God. Seven. A oh, freaking seven. Oh, man. Right, I can have one swap per round, so I'm going to swap that card. Please be really low. Oh, please, please, please be really high. Oh, right, I'm going to swap it for a nine. Oh, I mean, it's higher. It is higher. Right, nine. Low, lower or higher than a nine? Lower? Oh my god. Oh, okay, right, it's the same number. It's the same number, which means I have to shuffle. Oh my god, I have to shuffle. I have to shuffle it again. Back when I first started this game, if I got two of the same number, I automatically lost. But that was really harsh. And uh, right now, I'm so glad I changed that rule. I'm so glad I changed that rule. So I have to shuffle these cards and guess higher or lower than the card I pick. Oh my god, please, please. I really want to read Kiki's Delivery Service, please. Midnight Sun is not middle grade. Lower. <gasps> One. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Obviously higher than an ace. Eight. I'm going to go straight into it and say lower. Yes. <laughs> oh. Whew. Okay. Next. Oh. So the next two prompts are really vague and it's really just make yourself cozy reading snack and then pick up a book for a cozy night in. So we're gonna go to the Queen of Hearts Palace, pick a book you think you will love. So the book I think I'm gonna love is Eva Evergreen, Semi-Magical Witch by Julie Abe. This one has recently come out and it's popped up on my radar and I think I'm gonna love it. It has all of the Kiki's delivery service vibes. So I'm really going for a bit of a witchy theme in September, but this one has three rules on the back. It says one, help your town do good all round. Two, live there for one moon, don't leave too soon. Three, fly home by broomstick, the easiest of tricks. And I think it's about a young witch who has to live in this town and do things, otherwise she will lose her magic. I think she has to prove herself or something as a witch or she will lose her magic forever. Something like that. It does look really good. So this is going to be the book that I really want to read. And then for the book that I don't want to read, and that is Glass Heart by Catherine Orton. Here we go. First card is... A queen! Yay! I'm gonna say lover. No! <laughs> so that's nine losses now in total. Eleven more losses and I have to punish myself. Are you saying what I'm saying right now? A jack is lower than a queen, right? Or what was I thinking? What? Okay, so I've just had to come in to this because I didn't lose there and yet oh, I said lower and it was lower. <laughs> I didn't lose that round. I mean, I don't know because I never progressed after that. I just thought a jack was higher than a queen for some reason in that moment. So I am going to keep that. I'm going to punish myself for being that fucking stupid. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just shaking my head. I'm shaking my head at myself right now. Honestly. So I'm reading this. A book I think I love. <laughs> so the next is The Cheshire Cat, Pick a Strange and Mysterious Book. 
So the book I do want to read for that is Piola Santiago and the River of Tears by Tela K. Mejia and I believe this is Mexican Folk Tales. It's a Rick Ryden Presents book so this is a brand new uh, book and I'm really excited to read it. This uh, follows Piola and there is this river that she has been warned to stay away from because there is the legend of La Llorona who is the ghost woman who wants to drag souls into the river with her. Something like that. And I'm really excited to read this one. I think it's going to be fab, uh, especially since I really have been enjoying Rick Ryder Presents books. So I think this one will definitely be like strange and mysterious, especially since it has the whole La Llorona legend in this as well. And the book that I don't want to read for this prompt is because it's an adult book. And that is Offspring by Jack Ketchum. This one was in my very first POTB All Right and I lost to Leia on the Offbeat. This is a borrowed book. I have borrowed this from my friend and I need to give this back at some point. So I do really want to read it. It's a, a middle grade readathon, so it's not going to fit. <laughs> Come on, please be good. Please be good. Do, 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 do. The first card is a three, yes. Nice and low, so I'm gonna say higher. Queen, nice and high, I'm gonna say lower. Six, in the middle, I'm gonna say, oh, oh, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say higher. Oh, thank God, oh, but it's not even any better. It's not any better. What do I do? 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 What do, I do? What do, I do? Say if I embody some positive vibes, maybe that'll work. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Yeah, that's it. It's fine. Right, what? Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! 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 That was the positive vibes. That was the positive happy vibes. You can do anything when you have the positive vibes. Right, yes, oh, I get to read this one for the Wonderland Readathon, which means for the four books I'm reading for that, only one of them I don't want to read. Yes, get in, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That first whole round was incredible. I am so happy. I mean, obviously apart from fucking Glass Heart, but other than that, I'm so happy. And I do feel like my luck is gonna run out with this next readathon I am doing. So I am still playing my Play Your TBR right. However, I am adding another TBR game to the mix because in September, Becca from Becca and the Books is doing Book of a thon And that is going to be a month long readathon where you play with this very cute, amazing board of Bukopoli, which is a monthly game that Becca does for her channel and is a huge inspiration for me. It's just, it's so cute. It is so cute. I love it. So you essentially roll as many times as you want. You can do it one at a time. You can do it at the start of the month and, you know, do all that jazz. I'm doing all of my rolls together so you will see exactly what. But I am going to be picking two books for each of the spaces that I land on and then play your TBR right to pick between them. So I am excited to play. So I'm going to be doing five rolls because that's what Becca does and whenever you roll a double you have to add another roll onto it. So I do have a few counters as well that I, I really want to use for this. I've got some fantastic counters for it so I mean let me know which one is your favourite. But we have this counter here which is of course Becca from Becca and the Books. This was when she was Hunt from Crescent City in the Crescent City music video that we did, me, Ashley and Becca. So there's that one. Or we have this one, which I can't really remember the context of it, to be honest. However, it is a very nice option as well. We also have this stunning counter too. I mean, honestly, I'm spoiled for choice. This one, which is, I mean, this is probably what Becca is doing at the screen right now as she watches this. <laughs> you know, just to change things up a little bit there, we have Ashley from A Frog Through Friction riding Becca. And let's not lie, we all want to do that too. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this one is a really good option. It just reminds me of Lady Godiva, you know. Uh, there's also this one, which is, you know, uh, that is Becca, but it was one of those really weird medieval painting auto-generated face things that we did and I just love this as well. <laughs> and two more, there is this one, uh, I can't really remember the context behind this one as well, but Becca looks scared. 
that kind of, and this is this is me with Bookopoly right now to be honest this is apt and then the last one is also from the Crescent City well behind the scenes where I nearly accidentally put my finger up Becca's bum you know when all is said and done I ooh that's a Mamma Mia little nod there when all is said and done I think I'm going to go for the Ashley Wright and Becca option because can you just imagine this going along the board it's just oh, it's apt it's beautiful so let's get to the rolls and the first roll is a four and TBR Vet. So for the first roll, I landed on TBR Vet, and I have two options for this. And one of them I really want to read, and one of them I really don't want to read. So the one I do want to read is Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. This has been on my TBR for so long. I have a really not great, horrible cover for it. I got this, gosh, years and years ago, and I've been slowly working my way through the series, as I have with every series I ever read. And yeah, this is the third book in the Percy Jackson series. I need to say no more. The book that I don't want to read is New Moon by Stephanie Meyer. So I only ever read the first book, and I reread the first book a few months back, because I was planning on reading the entire series for the first time. This was the next book. I just, I, this one looks really boring. I really don't like the movie version of it. And I've heard bad things about it. Of course, it is the Twilight series. I mean, you either love it or you hate it. And it is a bit of a guilty pleasure for me, but I do think I'm going to be really bored with this book, so I really don't want to read this one. So let's combine mine and Becca's TBR games together to bring you the epic Pick Your Bookopolathon Right. Okay, cards are shuffled. Our starting card is a 10. High. It's very high. Um, I'm going to say lower. Oh god. Right, okay. Lower again. Oh god. Oh my god. Why does seven keep pop- Seven is my lucky number. Not so lucky in these games, I tell you. I'm gonna go all out and say lower again. Oh. Right. Oh my god, what? Ten, nine, seven, six. Oh. If this is a five, that would actually be beautiful. But then again, where's the eight? Where's the eight? Oh, that could be the eight. So should I say higher or lower than a six? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What are you? What are you? Laura! <gasps> it is a five. How does this keep happening? I'm shuffling. But I'm, that's amazing. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I obviously need to shuffle better though because how weird was that? So roll number two. We have a nine. Let's roll on that. Uh, POC Rep. So for roll number two, I landed on POC Rep. And the first book I really want to read is Cinderella is Dead by Caelan Bayron. And yeah, this was in my last TBR video and I really wanted to read it, but I lost out, so I never had a chance to. So I'm bringing this one back because I'm so desperate and eager to read it. Uh, this one is set 200 years after Cinderella has died. And I believe there's a ball every year and all of the women and the men get paired together and they are like forced to marry kind of thing. And the main character, she falls in love with her best friend who is a woman and she ends up going going and escaping into a forest, something like that. And I just really want to read it. The book that, I mean, I still want to read this. Don't get me wrong, I still want to read it. It is Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I do really want to read it. I've seen so much hype for this on, you know, booktube recently and on Twitter. A lot of my faves have read this one and loved it. So I'm really letting myself off easy with this round. I'm so sorry because these are like two books I do want to read. But yeah, I'm going to put Get Like Chloe Brown on this one. I really do want to read Cinderella is Dead though. That's my main goal. I really want to read that one. Uh, but of course, if I lose, no biggie. I still want to read that one too. So let's try this one out. Cards are shuffled. Storm card is a three. Nice, nice and low. Higher. Queen, nice and high. Lower. Two, nice and low. Higher. Four, higher. Ah, oh, no! That was going so well. <laughs> oh, I was on such a roll there. It looked like it was going to be... It looked like it was going to go a certain way, okay? Not too bad, though. I still got to read Life, Chloe Brown. I have heard so many great things about it. Chloe Brown is a chronically ill computer geek with a goal, a plan, and a list. Oh, yeah, so she's got things like enjoy a drunken night out, ride a motorbike, go camping, have meaningless but thoroughly enjoyable sex. Oh, gosh, yes, please. And uh, travel the world with nothing but hand luggage and do something bad. Ooh. So it does look really good. I am excited to read it. Um, but that means for another... 
Another month, that means Cinderella is dead, it's not getting read. So time for roll number three. And now we have a seven. Becca pick. So for roll number three, I landed on Becca pick. And so I didn't ask Becca to pick anything for me, but I do have a couple of books that I know Becca would approve of. And one of them she did gift me and she is desperate for me to read. And I was supposed to read it a couple of months back. Anyway, I feel like she would be really happy with either of these options. So the first book that I really want to read is A Court of Mist and Fury. No, it's not. A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. And this one is the third book in the Akatar series, which I'm excited to get to. I love the second book so, so much. I think this will be amazing to get on. It is chunky. So I want to pop this one over here. Oh, wait, I haven't even... Sorry, I haven't got rid of these. I'm not very professional. <laughs> I don't really want to read this month. Becca really wants me to read it so bad. And a lot of people would want me to read this, I'm sure. And I do want to read this at some point. However, it is huge. But that is The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. And this one is the first book in the Mistborn series. It, it does look really good. I'm not gonna lie, it does look really good. However, I don't want to start another series. I have so many that I'm in the middle of, including that one. I want to try and finish that series. So... Final Empire. Time to shuffle again. I really want to try and get this to be a really good round. Oh, that was a king. I dropped a king. I'm not going to pick it up. It means I've lost the highest card on here. Our starting card is a 10. Lower. Higher. Higher. Oh my god. That is the highest card. I've won this fucking round. Laura! <laughs> yes. Well, I still have, you know, more rounds, but oh, this has been such a good month that I get to read A Court of Wings and Ruin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Becca. I will get around to reading this. I promise. I promise. So on to the fourth roll now. And it's a double fucking five. So we have a 10. Also, I forgot I do need to turn this board over for you guys so that you can see where I'm going. So let's uh, let's move Ashley riding Becca. Oof. Yeah. Oh, this looks so fun. Oh, how I wish I was Ashley right now. And it is a five star prediction. So the fourth roll was a fucking double and I landed on five star prediction, which isn't too bad, I guess. It could have been worse, but it does mean I have to add on another roll at the end. So instead of five rolls, I'm doing six. So this one is five star prediction, so I couldn't really pick something that I didn't want to read for it. So yeah, two books for five star prediction. And the first one is The Betrayals by Bridget Collins. And this is not the sequel to The Binding, but this is by the same author as The Binding. And I, I don't really know that much about it. It has this really Really crazy concept that I can't wrap my head around in the synopsis so I don't know how I'm going to get on with this book it sounds a bit like Starless Sea where there's just going to be like a lot of waffle and it's just, it is going to be beautifully written I think I did enjoy the binding I really want to read the betrayals this one comes out in November I believe so this is an arc and I do really want to read it you know because I don't want to have wasted an arc and the book that I'm going to put on the other side which I still want to read don't get me wrong I still want to read and that is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune this was in my last Play Your TBR ride but I lost and I didn't get the chance to read it unfortunately and it, I've heard it's like middle grade but for adults shuffle the cards so I'm not too stressed about this one however the losses do add up so I don't want to lose because then I will end up having to punish myself when I reach number 20 and I think now I am on 10 losses. Let's do this! I haven't really used swaps that much in this as well. Mm, interesting. Okay, so the first card is a four. Nice and low, it's a four. Uh, I could start doing like bingo announcements whenever I turn these cards over. The next one, I'm going to predict higher. Whew. I'm feeling fine, it's a nan. <laughs> um, okay, lower than, yeah, I'm gonna say lower. Oh, fuck, it's always like this. It's always like this. I mean, it's fine, because I get to read The House in the Cerulean. Say, so, finally, it does mean that, ugh, I wanted to read Nock, I want to get the ox out of the way. Uh, never mind, I am getting to read The House in the Cerulean. So, so I'm not complaining. So what should it be my final roll, but it is not. It's time for the fifth roll. 
then it's a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fuck you, big book. Fuck you. Yeah, I mean, this game is definitely not for me. So I landed on Big Book. <laughs> so it has to be a book over 500 pages. Now, let me tell you guys, this is going to be the most stressful round of my life. Okay? If you wanted steaks, you are going to get steaks with this round. Okay, so firstly, the book that I do want to read is A Clock of Stars by Francesca Gibbons. This is a middle grade. It is over 500 pages. It is an arc. It comes out in... October. It's very whimsical and magical. It's about a girl who goes through a door into another world. It's kind of like a portal of fantasy. Don't really know that much about it. Haven't heard too much about it, but it's coming out soon. I want to read it. I keep putting this on my TBRs and I never get a chance to read it. So this I definitely want to read. <sighs> the next book is Torture. The next book is actually torturous. If you want to see me sweat, which is what you always love. Let's, let's not lie. This is what you love. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this to myself. I genuinely can't believe I'm doing this to myself. You wanted steaks, you're getting steaks. The book that I do not want to read is The Stand by Stephen King. If you wanted a big book, this is a big fucking book. This book is 1,325 pages long. I don't want to read this. I don't want to read this. Why did big book come up? Why? That is the book. I don't, I really don't want to read it, guys. <sighs> Not in September. Not when I'm already doing three readathons. Not when I've got another readathon I have to plan for November. This is make or break. And I still have a roll after this, too. This isn't even the end. <sighs> this, this is what you came for. Let's not lie. This is what you came for. A book I really do not want to read. I do at some point. But not now. Oh my god, no, I'm shuffling for longer. I'm sorry. But this cannot go wrong. This cannot go wrong. But the sooner I start it, the sooner I'll get it out of the way. The sooner I'll get it out of the way. It's okay. It is okay. What? I am literally shaking. Usually I have a little fast paced, slow mo thing here. But look at this. Look, my hand is like actually shaking. Right, okay. Oh. oh, right, it's a king. Lower, lower than a king. Five, okay, that's, that's fine, that is fine. Five. Higher. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the size of that. 1,300 pages long. Oh my god, I'm literally shaking. <laughs> Eight. I'm gonna say lower. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a six. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh my god, like, oh. Um, I don't want to rush it. I don't want to rush it. I need to read you. I need to read you. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. Remember, positive vibes. Positive vibes. It works. It works. It always works. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And there's still one round to go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Right, okay. This is going to be, oh, it's a six, so I'm, go, I'm just gonna say um, higher. I'm gonna say higher. Come on, please be higher, please be higher. Come on, please be higher. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no! No, that's not what I wanted. What? <sighs> Yeah. 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 
Okay, so it's time for the sixth and final punk punk roll. Let's cut this off with, and it is a four. It is a four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Lowest fucking rated. Yay! So I landed on lowest rated because nothing says fuck you like the last roll being a book that is most likely going to be bad. But it's fine. It's fine. So I went onto my Goodreads and I, I still can't get over the fucking stand. So I went onto my Goodreads and I sorted it average rating low to high. And actually the books that were the lowest rated are books that I do actually genuinely want to read. And I don't think they're going to be that bad, but I mean, I could be proven wrong. So the book with 3.30 on Goodreads and the second lowest is The Wreck of the Titan by Morgan Robertson. So this um, actually came out in 1896 and it is about a ship called the Titan that is sunk by an iceberg in the Atlantic Ocean. Bear in mind this came out 14 years before Titanic happened. So this like predicted the disaster. There's so many creepy similarities to the disaster that actually happened with the Titanic. And I really did want to read this. Like I do want to read this mainly because I want to read it and see what the comparisons are. Maybe do a video about that. So I'm going to put this on my really want to read side because it's the second lowest on this and it's really short as well. So I need some solace. I need some solace. And then the lowest is The Witches of Eastwick by John Updike. This one has a an average of 3.26 and I love the movie I really do love the movie and I really do want to read the book I want to see how different the movie is to the book but this has a really bad rating on Goodreads actually I mean 3.26 isn't a terrible rating by any means but it's still the lowest out of all of my owned TBR so it'll be interesting I am putting it on the don't want to read side because it's longer and I after the stand come on give me this Give me this. So I love the movie. I also, um, comment down below if you knew about this, but there was a TV show 11 years ago. It aired on ABC and it was called Eastwick and it lasted 13 episodes. It was cancelled. I loved that show so much. Thumbs up if you loved Eastwick as well. You know, a little forgotten gem there. Right, last, play your TBR round. I'm so ready for this to be over. Like, is this an hour long TBR video? I do not know. Right, the first card is a four. Knowing my luck, that'll be a fucking three. Um, I'd be like, please give me this. That is a nice small book. I really want to read a small book. Come on. Four, I'm gonna say higher. Oh, seven. Okay, I'm gonna change it. I, I totally forgot I should have changed some cards in the last one, or at least one. I should have changed a card in the last round. I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting that one. Uh, so let's change the seven for a Queen, oh, brilliant, nice and high. Okay, so lower than a queen is a fucking jack. Oh wait, no, that's right, that is lower. <laughs> I genuinely thought I'd lost there. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's fine, jack. And I'm gonna say lower again, but no, my love will be queen or a king. Five, oh my gosh, this could be the one. We could end on a high, we could end on a high. But could we? That was the question. No, my luck, probably not. Oh. I mean, instinct says higher. My track record says lower. I'm gonna say higher. I'm gonna say higher. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yes, I get to read the back of the Titan. So this is only 70 pages long, so oh, thank you. So there's 15 books here, which isn't too bad. It's less than half of what I forced myself to read in August. And I'm so excited for most of these. I mean, a couple of outliers there, especially the stand, Jesus. But overall, I'm not too mad. That was a really stressful game, though. That's the most stressful TBR game I've ever played in my life. And again, I do enjoy doing this to myself. Don't worry, don't worry. But I have so much to do in September, honestly. I have so much to do. Let's hope I can still get to all of these. And because most of these are on Play Your TBR, right, if I don't read however many books I don't read from this game, then I have to punish myself with that many danger rounds in the next TBR video. So stay tuned for that, say how many times I punish myself, because more likely I am gonna end up straying off the TBR path like I always do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments if you're taking part in any readathons in September. I'm really excited to see what you guys are reading. And thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.